Hi, I'm Skylar, and welcome to Tech Edge. Here at OnLogic, we design industrial computers. But what exactly makes an industrial computer industrial? How are they any different from your average consumer PC? Today, we're going to tear through unique features of industrial and rugged computers and why they tend to be more reliable and often more expensive than the average desktop or laptop computer. Industrial computers are designed to withstand a harsh environment that includes spaces like factory floor, a warehouse, a truck, or even outdoors in a weatherproof enclosure. These are all spaces that would challenge or even destroy more traditional computer equipment. Let's look at four elements of industrial PC design that influence their suitability for these types of environments. Electrical, mechanical, regulatory, and connectivity. A lot of careful consideration goes into designing every aspect of an industrial computer down to the individual electrical components on its motherboard. The choice of each component and the layout of the circuitry is carefully considered by the design engineer to ensure the PC will hold up under industrial conditions. These conditions might include extreme temperatures, vibration, and impact forces, or electromagnetic interference, just to name a few. In addition, for industrial PC users, the life cycle of a product, how long it will be available and supported, is super important and makes component selection even more crucial. As we look closer at the mechanics of an industrial PC, the raw materials begin to differ in complexity and cost from consumer hardware. So if we take a look here, for example, a great deal of attention is paid to thermal management. Industrial computers are engineered to withstand a wider temperature range since many industrial environments are not climate controlled. This results in a wide range of additional heat dissipation features like these, and often a lot more metal than you would find inside an average PC. Most consumer grade computers are cooled by a fan that blows against a small metal heatsink. Those little heatsinks don't have a lot of surface area, don't require much material, and are very lightweight. Industrial computers, like this one, are often cooled without a fan. And this has a number of benefits, including minimizing moving parts that might wear out over time, preventing dust and debris from getting sucked into the system and creating a silent solid state device. To keep a fanless industrial system cool, you need a much larger heatsink. In fact, the chassis itself often operates as a heatsink. And heat is just one element industrial computers need to contend with. So far, we've covered physical features, things that you can see and touch. Now, let's talk about one of the most important unseen benefits and often costs of industrial computers, regulatory testing and certification. As I mentioned, industrial computers are designed and tested to ensure optimal performance in their intended environment. A huge selection of international regulatory standards have been taken into account to ensure the highest level of immunity to impact forces, vibration, temperature, and EMC disturbances, all to help make the computer as reliable as possible. There are a wide range of often geographically specific regulatory requirements to consider for any potential use case of an industrial computer. Most common are product safety standards, which include nationally recognized testing laboratory safety listing markings like UL or ETL, there's also EMC radio emissions compliance, assuring the device does not cause interference with nearby equipment. Radio waves come out of most electronic devices and they need to be under a certain limit to meet compliances. This electronic noise can radiate from chassis parts and cables and can even be conducted through the electric grid. If you've ever seen guidance to install your internet router away from other electronic devices, you've seen the impact of this kind of uh, interference can have. Now multiply that by 100 or more, and you have an idea of what the equipment inside a modern manufacturing plant has to deal with. Now, in addition to EMC emissions compliance, there's also EMC immunity, which makes sure computers run without interruption during common environmental disturbances, such as electrostatic discharge, magnetic fields, power fluctuations, and the like. The testing involved in EMC compliance simulates these kinds of disturbances to make sure systems operate reliably. Testing emulates things like electronic motor noises, arc welding, two-way radios, and indirect lightning strikes. Leading edge IoT devices and industrial compute platforms need to have the latest in connectivity that frequently means wireless communication. 
While one transmitter can present challenges, multiple co-located transmitters are extremely challenging to certify for coexistence in the same device. The FCC and ISED govern US and Canadian wireless devices. In Europe, all radio transmitting products, which include computers with wireless radios, must meet the EU RED, the Radio Emissions Directive. Outside of Europe, there are a number of other wireless regulatory bodies. While some agree on rules, others do not, <laughs> which is where the expertise of an experienced regulatory team, like the one here at OnLogic, really pays dividends. We'll be talking more on regulatory in an upcoming video, so subscribe to our channel so you don't miss that. In terms of physical connectors, the interfaces on an industrial computer can be quite different from those you'll find on consumer PCs. In some cases, they facilitate connection to legacy systems that might use interface standards that the consumer computing space has long since abandoned. COM ports, like this, are a great example. In other cases, the function of a port might be the same, but its construction might differ. Take this LAN connector, for example. It is a common and recognizable interface on both consumer and industrial systems. But in some situations, an industrial user might need a slightly different LAN connector called an M12 LAN. It does the same exact thing, but offers a sturdier, more environmentally resistant connection that screws on tightly. Just to add a little more complexity, for every industrial feature we've already outlined, there might be an additional step up in durability or certification. Systems with those boosted components and features fall into the rugged computer category, which makes them suitable for even more extreme environments. Ultimately, for industrial hardware users, it comes down to the total cost of a project over its lifetime. Buying the right solution for the job with the right components, appropriate certifications, and requisite connectors the first time can save significant time and money in the long run. Installing an industrial computer that will run for 10 years or more is often a lot more cost effective than purchasing a less reliable device that has to be replaced every couple of years. And beyond just the computer itself, the downtime cost to a business can be huge. There's plenty of research that shows a single hour of downtime at a major production facility can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. So there you go. I hope I've given you an idea of how industrial computers are different and what features and certifications make them stand out. At OnLogic, we don't want you to underspec or overspec your solution. For help finding the right system for your project on the first time, reach out to our team of experts. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on TechEdge.